I'm not sure how the mic sounds on this camera, but hopefully it's not too bad. This is Playland Vancouver, as you can see, but I'm on the Ferris wheel right now and I had to take a little break because I went on some pretty crazy rides and I was feeling a bit sick. Typically after work, the way the day goes is just find something to do, like an activity. Go do the activity and then go home, chill, watch Netflix. And then, yeah, I like sitting at like my desk just that I can do some work, personal projects, watch anime. If you live in Vancouver, definitely check out Playland if you haven't before. I recommend this ride right here. Hold on. This one right here. I have no idea what it's called, but this is the worst one that I've been on today. That one is messed up. And then that one is pretty good. Well, yeah, after this, just gonna go on a few more rides and then go home. As you can probably tell, I'm back in the house. It's nighttime right now. As you can see, it was a busy day, but it was a good day. For those who don't know, I actually work from home. Uh, but today I decided to work from outside the house as I do every so often. And after work, we went to Playland, which is an amusement park in Vancouver. Typically, my days usually go like this. After work, go to an activity, come back home, chill, and then go to sleep. Right now it's super late, so I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, watch some anime. Yeah, lately it's been mostly activities in the evenings. Um, like yesterday, we went to the Honda celebration of lights which is just like a big fireworks show in downtown vancouver it's by the beach and it's a huge show they have like a drone show and then a fireworks show <laughs> we 
also went to the trampoline park this summer at least we're trying to do a lot more stuff outside and just enjoy summer during winter my days look different a lot of the times it's going snowboarding after work yeah right now it's super late so i'm just gonna chill for a little bit maybe like an hour or so and then go to sleep for those who watched my previous video you probably know that i'm trying to redo my portfolio site so i've been doing some research on that trying to see the latest frameworks that people are using the you know the ins and outs of react now or other frameworks that are available as well i'm just gonna watch some netflix and then go sleep because it's a bit late and i'm getting pretty tired Thank you.